Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Today I am going to be reviewing the Through Night BSS V4 Tactical Flashlight. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what. I really like the Through Night brand. Every flashlight that they've sent me that I've reviewed has been a very good quality flashlight. Another reason why I like Through Night is because every time they send me a flashlight to review, they offer me two additional flashlights so that I can give it away to two community members. So stand by until the end of the video. I'm going to tell you what you can do in order to enter to win one of two of the BSS V4 tactical flashlights. This flashlight came with a lot of goodies, but I want to point this out to you so that you don't throw it away when you get it. Because most of us just throw these things away, including myself. But this here is a 30 day no worry return policy. And this flashlight comes with a three year warranty. So make sure that you keep this and make sure that you register your flashlight. It's an automatic two year warranty. However, if you register it, you get an additional year warranty with it. Of course, it came with a user manual, but ladies and gentlemen, this is a very easy flashlight to learn how to use. It came with a clip that you can attach to it. That way, if you want to use it as your EDC, put it in your pocket. It's very handy to have. It came with a charging cord that's equipped with a regular USB and a mini USB port. It came with a lanyard. It came with two O-rings and an additional button cover for the back. That way, if something happens to the original cover through use, you can always replace it and maintain the uh, watertight integrity that this flashlight has. It also came with an additional cover for the charging port, which is always nice to have to make sure that you maintain that watertight integrity as well. Something really cool that this flashlight came with that I haven't seen other flashlights come with is what I would like to call a tactical light cover. So this is a lens that will enable you to turn your flashlight into a tactical light for nighttime, whereas people cannot see that you're shining your light from very far away. And I'll show you how that works. And it came with a flashlight holder that you can affix to your belt, or you can put a carabiner on it and put it on your Molly or anywhere you want to. Now this is the flashlight itself. Like I said, it's very nice, very easy to hold. One thing that is really cool is that you can take this top off let me show you this and then you can use your lens cover which turns it into a real tactical light because it'll give you a red light all you have to do is screw that on and now you've got a red light see that pretty cool we'll go ahead and take this off for now I'll show you what that red light looks like when we go outside let's go ahead and put this back on it and then let me show you what some of the functions of this flashlight are now this is a rechargeable flashlight and as you can see it has a recharging port right here where you can attach that mini USB to it. It has your standard button right here that allows you to turn it on and off and switch the modes. And it also has a turbo mode button in the back. So if you press this button it automatically goes to turbo mode which gives you approximately 2500 lumens. Check this out. Now if you do turn on the turbo mode you're only going to be able to run it for about 125 seconds, a little bit over two minutes. Because when it's on turbo mode, it's drawing a lot of energy from that battery. So it shuts itself off from turbo mode after a little over two minutes in order to protect the battery from overheating. Now the modes on this flashlight are very similar to the other through night flashlights that I've reviewed. If you hold this button in for a few seconds, it's going to go ahead and turn on what's called a firefly mode, which is only about 0.54 lumens. To turn it off, all you do is press it once. Now to turn it on, all you have to do is just push the buttons once and release and it'll go to the last setting that you had it on. So you will see that when I turn it on, it's going to go to low setting. And then if you just keep the button pressed in, it'll continue to go through all the other settings. Low setting is 33 lumens. Medium setting is 350 lumens. High setting is 1426 lumen. And of course, if you want to activate the turbo from this button, you can. All you have to do is give it two quick clicks. And there's your turbo, which is 2,523 lumens. Now, if we turn it back on and we want to turn on the strobe, all we have to do is give it three quick clicks. And you can see a strobing. So very simple to use this flashlight. It also has a feature that allows you to lock the flashlight that way if you put it in a bag or in your pocket and by mistake you press the button it won't turn on now in order to go ahead and lock your flashlight it's very simple all you have to do is hold it in and put it in firefly mode see it's on firefly mode 0.54 lumens and now if you want to lock it 
while it's on firefly mode you go ahead and hold the button in again until it turns off and you see there it turned off now if you try to turn it on you're gonna see a little red light there indicating to you that this flashlight is locked you see that if I try to turn it on there's a red button let me do it again so you can see that it won't turn on there you go it won't turn on now in order to turn it off all you have to do is press it in and keep your finger in it and now it goes back to firefly mode you turn it off and now it's ready for you to use just like you were using it before there you go that's the last setting that I had it on before I locked it and we turn it off so so far this flashlight is very easy to use all you have to do is learn these functions once ladies and gentlemen and then it just becomes muscle memory let's take it outside so we can check out how it works as far as throw and as far as how well we can see with it we are outside now ladies and gentlemen and I'll tell you what very warm day today it's probably about seven o'clock in the morning and as you can see it's very dark but it's got to be I didn't look at my thermometer but it's got to be about 10 or 15 degrees out here so very warm day today so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn this flashlight on and it's going to be on low. As you can see that's on low right there. You'll be able to see probably to the end of my walkway here. So it's on low. So let's go ahead and take it out to the road where we normally do so that we can see what kind of a throw it has. Now right now I'm on my driveway and as you can see it's probably good for about 30 feet on low. Where you can see the middle of the beam that's about 30 feet away. You probably won't be able to catch anything else past that. Right now, I'm at the end of my driveway. And as you can see, still, it's about a 30-foot throw on low, which is not bad for on low. Let's go ahead and put it on medium. And this is medium right here. And as you can see, we can see the beginning of the tree lines. You could probably see those tree lines right there, the tree line right there. And that's probably, I would say, about a good 100 feet away from me. Let's go see how long it will throw it down my road. Without the light, I cannot see that trailer that's up there. There's a trailer right there. And that's probably about 100 meters from me. So it's not a bad throw. As you can see, this flashlight doesn't have a wide angle. I think it's meant more for giving you a longer throw than a wide angle far away. In front of you, it's not bad. But as far as being far away, it doesn't really have a wide angle. And again, here's a tree line. And here's the other part, the other side of my road. So it's got probably about a good 100 meter throw on low or on medium, not on low, on medium. And now this here is on high. And now there you can see that camper that's back there behind that trailer. And I can very easily see the tree line back there. I don't think the camera is doing it very much justice, but I can very easily see the tree line back there. Right here in front of my driveway, we can see this tree line here pretty easily. And it is actually a very nice illuminating flashlight. Here's the end of my road. And now you can see that trailer with no problem back there. See that? And if my road didn't curve, I would assume that it would go at least a good 125 to 150 meters as far as the throw. Red light cannot be seen as easily as white light from distances. So the reason I say that this lens cover is a tactical lens cover is because if you put it on, more than likely is because you're using it in a tactical way. So this is what the red light looks like on low. And then here's medium. So you see it doesn't really go very far and here's high see even on high it doesn't go very far it's not meant to go far it's meant for you to be under concealment and then maybe looking at a map or something like that now this is what it looks like on turbo although i don't know why anyone would want to use it on turbo so i think it's pretty cool that they included this uh, lens cover for this flashlight very handy to have all right let's check out the turbo right now it's on high I'm going to give it a double click and that's our turbo. Our turbo really illuminates everything up. So ladies and gentlemen, what do I say about this flashlight? It's a good flashlight. It's a very good quality flashlight. I'm very happy with through night. So what do you need to do in order to enter to win one of the two flashlights that through night is giving away? Ladies and gentlemen, it won't cost you a penny to enter. All you have to do is leave a comment under this video and just have the word 
flashlight in your comment. Just having the word flashlight in your comment will have you entered to win one of these flashlights. And I will be disclosing the winner on this Sunday's live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are interested, I went ahead and designed three new cups and one new t-shirt. It's located in the Alaska Prepper Mercantile. This here is the Reach One Teach One Repeat mug. And as you can see, this beautiful design that was sent to me by one of our community members, and she gave me permission to use it. I think it's beautiful, and I think it deserves to be on its own mug. So this is one side of the mug, and this is what the other side looks like. That design that you see there was also contributed to me by one of our community members as well. The second mug is the Better Than Money in the Bank mug. And as you can see here, it just says Better Than Money in the Bank, and it has some grocery items stocked on a shelf. The other side of that is the Reach One, Teach One, Repeat logo. This is the third mug design, and as you can see, I went ahead and included the Reach One, Teach One, Repeat logo on all of the mugs because I think it's a beautiful design. So thank you very much again to the one that went ahead and did this. However, the other side of this mug has a design that was made by Little Miss Alaska Prepper, and you will note that her initials are in the bottom right-hand corner of this drawing. And this is the ladies and gentlemen's mug, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so as you can see, Little Miss Alaska Prepper put her artistic talent to work and made a cartoon drawing of my face. Now, I can understand why this would probably be the lowest selling mug if anyone decides to buy it at all. Not because it's not a good design by Little Miss Alaska Prepper, but because it's got my mug on it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you guys what the t-shirt looks like. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I can only do t-shirts in white until I can figure out how to place items on the shirt without a white background. So as you can see, this t-shirt here, which is a unisex t-shirt, it comes from small all the way up to, I believe, four extra large. In the front, it's got Reach One, Teach One, Repeat with the Alaska state map on it. The back of it is the Better Than Money in the Back design, and I went ahead and blessed the bottom of this shirt, <laughs> if you can call blessing it, with a mug of my mug all right ladies and gentlemen listen if you're interested in any of this of course it does help to support the channel i try to keep the prices down as low as i can possibly keep them because these things do seem to be somewhat expensive all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining in i hope you guys got something out of this take a look at this flashlight i will leave the link in the description of the video and i will also go ahead and place it in my amazon storefront because this is a quality flashlight having said that have a great day Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out.